So now I want to introduce my next speaker, Mr. Yun Vit Nok, uh, founder and CEO of uh, Directic from Vietnam. He's going to share you about how he used IoT for Smart Factory. Thank you, uh, Terence. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Nguyen Vinh Lộc. Uh, I am a CEO of uh, David Tech Company from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, today, my topic is uh, to share to you all about our industrial IoT solution uh, to en enhance manufacturing efficiency. Um, firstly, uh, we have a, a, a forecast of spending of Internet of Things for different vertical markets. And from this chart, we can easily find out the biggest uh, vertical market spending of Internet of Things is the manufacturing, district manufacturing, and then transportation and logistics, and then utilities. And here the chart to show the growth rate, and you see with manufacturing, the growth rate up to 84%, almost double year by year for manufacturing, and then energy, URT, and also transportation. Okay, in this chart, we also have a view of IoT important by industry. And we can also easily to see the manufacturing sector have the highest importance of IoT. Okay, when we are talking about industrial IoT for manufacturing, there are some IoT drivers to allow people to adopt IoT application. And one of the biggest drivers is the benefit. How can we improve the benefit of industrial IoT to manufacturing customer? And here are the summary. The first is industrial IoT can improve the overall operation efficiency for customer. Then increase productivity, reduce downtime, maximize access utilization, increase worker skill and productivity reduce cost and improve product quality. In the manufacturing environment, normally uh, we have uh, some connectivity technology. You can see we can have a Wi-Fi or Ethernet or cellular. Uh, normally when we approach uh, industrial customer like manufacturing industrial factory, normally customer propose and they want to use Wi-Fi or Ethernet. But why we highly recommend customers to use cellular? Because of uh, this advantage. With cellular, customer can have a very low investment and operation cost also very low and very quick deployment. Beside that, the reliability of the cellular network is very high because we have the backup, the support from the, the telco every time, everywhere. Then the mobility. With a cellular technology, customer can moving their machine or production line to everywhere easily. But of course, with cellular, there are also some disadvantages, like you know, um, the uh, the data transmission is going out to the internet, then go back to the factory, so data privacy is uh, some uh, issue for them. And then the low bandwidth uh, connection. However, for the IoT industry like the data from sensor or machine, we don't need to, to high bandwidth like, like media data. Yeah. Compared to the Wi-Fi and e Ethernet uh, connection, uh, the, the, the inherent um, uh, advantage of Wi-Fi and Ethernet is a high bandwidth, high bandwidth connection, and the, they can uh, deploy the local connection in their in, in internal corporate. But the in, this, uh, this one thing of uh, Wi-Fi and Ethernet is uh, high investment in, in investment and also operation cost. And very long time uh, deployment, uh, less mobility. For example, if customer want to deploy a system to monitor their CNC machine in their factory with uh, Ethernet cable, for example, then later if they want to move those machines to another factory, then they have to establish another network system. Take a long time and cost very high. That's why normally when we approach the customer, we, we highly recommend them to use cellular technology. 
Here are the industrial IoT system architecture we propose to industrial customer, uh, and here we can see the the connection from the gateway uh, to the IoT platform using the cellular network. Uh, we can see from uh, the real world, like the sensor, meter, machine, or equipment vehicles in their factory. Um, normally, in their uh, factory, uh, they already have the sensor, the machine, or equipment. So our role is we supply the gateway to install the gateway next to their sensor or machine to collect data. And from gateway, the connectivity from gateway to sensor machine can be wired or wireless. Then the, the, the main function of the gateway is to aggregate data, processing data, and send data to any IoT platform uh, for, for visualization or further analytics. Uh, next, I would like to share with you all about uh, uh, some typical applications of industrial IoT for manufacturing. We have done uh, many years for more than uh, uh, 80 customers in Vietnam and also other countries in the region, and even Australia. Uh, one of the applications for industrial IoT is an energy management solution. So with uh, IoT... Uh, uh, in Apple, in, in Apple, we can deploy easily and quickly the energy management solution for the factory for all kinds of energy like electricity, water, compressed air, steam, industrial gas, and fuel. And what benefit of uh, IoT can bring to energy management solution is it can reduce production downtime, improve operation efficiencies, reduce cost enhance worker safety, and comply to authority regulation and customer requirement. So with the energy management solution, how is the deployment? The deployment can be done very easily and quickly with our technology. For example, most of the customer, the factory, they already have the fuel sensor or the power meter, water meter, gas meter, any kind of energy meter in their factory already. So to deploy this project, we just send to them the gateway. This is a cellular gateway. Normally, the cellular gateway, is we have the SIM card inserted inside the gateway before sending to customer. After receiving the gateway, customer can do the wiring hookup by themselves. After that, our engineer can sit, on, sit in any office in the world to do a configuration to, to, configuration to get the data from any meter in their factory. And then customer can have a, a real-time visualization of data of, of energy consumption, or then uh, they can have a reporting for energy reporting easily. Another application for industrial IoT is the machine equipment monitoring solution. This can be applied for any kind of machine or production line or even the utility equipment. The machine, for example, a CNC machining machine, or plastic injection machine. For the utility equipment can be a boiler, a HVIC or chiller, a generator, for example. The benefit that uh, this solution can bring to customer is to increase the productivity, reduce cost, increase worker productivity, maximize access utilization, reduce downtime, and improve the quality. I give you one example with uh, my use case, my customer about the CNC machine. Uh, with their CNC machining machine, uh, equipped with our IoT technology, the gateway, uh, customer can have the uh, efficiency report and then downtime report. Uh, from that, they can find out uh, which machine have uh, highest downtime, and then they can analyze further to see which reason caused a high, higher downtime for that machine. For example, the reason can be the worker go to the mill for a long time longer time than other workers, for example, or that machine have a problem with the tune or the alarming with the, the, the machine longer than the other machine. So that machine needs to do maintenance, for example, like that. Yep. Uh, the third application... Uh, OK, sorry. Uh, further to this uh, machine equipment monitoring solution, here also the architecture of the system is very simple. Uh, with every machine or equipment, we also uh, install one uh, cellular gateway 
to collect data. This gateway will support multiple uh, field bus or protocol to connect to any machine in a factory. And the third application of uh, industrial IoT solution is to, to monitor the environment. The environment can be environment in the warehouse or in the factory uh, uh, production area to improve work quality, to enhance the staff satisfaction, to improve worker productivity and comply to authority regulation. Uh, with the solution, we can tap, we can connect to any kind of the sensor to monitor the environment like uh, temperature, humidity, differential pressure in the clean room, or even the toxic gas, etc. And the architecture is, on, is also very simple. Normally, with uh, the environment monitoring, we propose the wireless solution. That means um, uh, we can install the wireless sensor to monitor the temperature, humidity, gas, etc to connect to a cellular gateway via a wireless connection. It's a private wireless net connection. And next, um, you know, in the industrial IoT architecture system, the key component is the, we call the smart IoT gateway. And with my company, we name it iConnector. iConnector is our own brand name. Uh, we started designing the Smart IoT Gateway in 2012 and with uh, GBRS technology. Then later we upgraded to 3G, 4G, and now NB IoT. Why we call this a Smart IoT Gateway? Because uh, this device is a three in one device. The first function is it's a data logger. Data logger. It will collect data and log inside its memory before sending to the server for further analytics. And it also has the function is a logic controller like BUC, programmable logic controller. It can process the event or alarm like a logic controller. So with this smart IoT gateway, you can deploy a simple uh, application. Can, you don't need any BUC, for example. And the third uh, function of this gateway is, is a field bus uh, uh, gateway. It can connect to any POC sensor meter in, uh, in the factory via the Modbus, Ethernet, IB, CC Link, Profinet on a common Modbus, uh, field bus, uh, industrial field bus on the market, and even with a wireless sensor around. Here are some architecture uh, to use uh, this gateway. So basically, we have the, the, the blue box, the gateway connect to the sensor meter via cable, can be RS-55 or Profibus, Profinet, etc. And then the gateway connect to any IoT platform. And the second uh, deployment can be, we can connect the gateway to the sensor or machine using the local wireless network. The wireless network can be uh, Sigfox or, uh, sorry, uh, can be LoRa or sub gigahertz, for example. And we also, my company also have the new version is uh, ASD, Explosion Group uh, Gateway can be used for on gas industry. And you know, um, beside the IoT uh, driver, there are also many IoT barriers that uh, customer have to overcome. And one of the biggest barrier for IoT is the data privacy. So with my company, we have a solution. We can deliver to customer the on-premise industrial IoT server. With this industrial IoT server, this customer can deploy the system very easy. They can install this server into their factory, facility, warehouse, office, anywhere they want to deploy the system. Okay, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, to yes, if you have any inqu information, please contact us uh, via email. Thank you. Thank you, Vietnam.